Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for December 7th, 2023. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Sagittarius, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading. So this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind, Sagittarius, that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you. I just got done taking my doggie for a walk. She decided she wanted to chase after a cat and broke the leash. So I tied it back together for the 87th time this year. Okay. <laughs> All right, Sag, my beautiful Sagittarius. Okay. If you guys would please go follow my TikTok account. It is Stay Sober and Challenge. Today I am five months sober from alcohol. Okay. I'm a little over like two months sober, like completely sober from smoking as well. So happy about that. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Really there we go. Okay. All right. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. Let's see what's on the split. I'm going to see what's on the split really quick. Let me get one more. Uh, King of Swords wanted to come out. Some kind of mental something going on. Maybe mental clarity. I feel like I need to sneeze. <laughs> mental clarity, possibly. All right. A strong leader or an authority figure, such as a police officer, lawyer, judge, businessman, military officer, corporate executive, or perhaps a stern father. Alternatively, a highly intelligent professional, such as a doctor, professor, scientist, or writer. Personality usually runs on the conservative side. Judicious, judicious, aggressive, ambitious, reserved, distrusting of unproven ideas or people. Astrologically, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could be dealing with one of these signs, or you could be um, someone who has one of these signs in your chart. Or you could have this sign somewhere in your chart, okay? Let's see what's on the split for today. Let me do one more of these and then we'll go from there. Ten of Swords reversed and the Four of Cups. Okay, this could be like release of something, okay? Dodging the bullet, I think is what it says. I think it is do dodging the bullet, okay? Dodging some kind of bullet here with someone or something, okay? But also not wanting help from someone or something. This could be you, this could be someone else in your energy. Um, Four of Cups, so this is like discontent phase or malcontent person discontent or malcontent it's like someone wants to offer you something Sagittarius but you're like no like I don't want any help it seems like you're upset about some kind of situation here also with the ten of swords the ten of swords represents like the swords are falling out of this person's back so it's some kind of dodging something okay ten of swords reversed Dodging the bullet, danger passes so close by that you can feel the breeze of it passing, making an impossible recovery from certain death, physical, financial, etc. Resurrection, okay? I feel like this is, um, I don't know. Let me see the Four of Cups. Immovable object, discontent phase, malcontent person. It is hard to be this disappointed with life, but some people find ways to become so. This card represents resistance to any help, advice, compassion, charity, or compromise. This is more than unhappiness. This is a solid wall one builds up around themselves and shuts the world out. It is, a it is absolute refusal to listen to, interact with, or even recognize the efforts of others. The subtext of this is that everything has been offered to the person this card represents. Therefore, this card is supremely dependent on associated cards for casualty 
One cannot reach the state of withdrawal without reason or circumstance. Look closely for the reasons before offering up solutions. For those of you that are new to the channel, I do use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I use this as a quick reference guide, okay? I do know what most of these cards mean without having to look up the definition at this point, but at the same time, I like to let people know that I use the book, okay, as well. So that way you can get a complete and accurate depiction for what is going on for you. I feel like something happened where you, Sagittarius, nearly dodged a bullet, okay? But I feel like you're still unhappy about it, whatever it is. It's something that is causing you unhappiness, okay? Excuse me. This could be a person or it could be a thing. The bet person, place, or thing, okay? It's a noun. <laughs> The Ten of Swords represents also back pain or back surgery. So it could be some kind of surgery that you're having to undergo here. Okay, it could be back surgery, it doesn't have to be. But I feel like this is something that is, this is something that you do not need to or have to worry about. You're upset about the situation still, it is clear with the Four of Cups, but this is not something that you need to worry about, okay? The reason for that is because you have dodged the bullet, okay? Whatever this was that was coming for you or coming at you or like, I don't know, coming at you or coming for you or like in your energy that is causing harm and you're upset about, it's not something that you need to be upset about. Okay, what I would do is focus, focus on what makes you happy. All right, focus on what brings you joy. Focus on what you can focus on that will allow you to not feel this discontent or malcontent. Okay. Whether it's you or somebody else, if it's you, that's what I would do. If it's somebody else, they're upset about something that it's like you realize Sagittarius that someone was not good for your energy. This is going to, it's like kind of two storylines. Okay. One is the first one. The second one is like you were dealing with someone that was not good for your energy. I feel like you figured this out. Okay. And you pulled your energy back or vice versa. And now someone is up and un someone is unhappy about it. Okay, either you or someone else. Someone is unhappy about the fact that someone else pulled their energy back, okay? All right, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. One, two, three, four. Ten of Cups. It's like you're getting your Ten of, I mean, Pentacles. It's like you're getting your Ten of Pentacles with someone, okay? We have the Ten of Wands in the past. We have the Three of Swords reversed in the present, and we have the Queen of Pentacles for the future reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed for the future. So Ten of Wands represents emotional one, emotional burden one chooses or is forced to carry for a time. Okay? It also represents be careful what you wish for because you're going to get what you want. Okay? Ten of Wands, be careful what you wish for. This powerful card reminds us, as does the Ten of Swords, that at the end of the day, all we have said and done catches up with us. The luxuries we crave are our burdens in turn. This man has lots of sticks, but he has to carry them to his destination or lose them. Success has a price and you may have to bear it once you get everything you desire. Fame, power, and wealth are seldom what we thought they would be when we first started along our path. Know exactly what you want before you invest a lifetime pursuing it so that when you get it, you are still happy to carry the load. This card shows heavy labor or emotional burdens one chooses or is forced to carry for a time. Okay? I mean, this is kind of also, like a lot of people, this is depicted as a bad card for a lot of people, okay? But at the same time, this is a harvest, okay? These 10 wands are something that he planted, okay? He wanted these and now he is, he, he is harvesting them and carrying them. So it's something that you put work, effort, time, energy, and effort into and like you're now reaping the benefits, but at the same time, it may be too much for someone. So let's clarify the 10 of wands for Sagittarius in the past, please. Show me the cards I needed to see to clarify the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius in the past, please. Let me get one more. Okay, we have the Five of Wands reverse, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so this represents some kind of arguing or some kind of like, or an end to arguing. It's some kind of set, like, um, agreement or truce between two people but it could be with a younger fire sign okay aries leo or sagittarius or someone with like a younger mindset or someone that is not on the same mental level as you okay but it is 
about some kind of new beginning that did not work out or I feel like it's two people agreeing to disagree that's what it's kind of looking like to me on some kind of subject okay you could possibly have kids with this person okay or you just have kids in general someone out here watching this probably had has kids with a page you could have a fire sign kid Aries Leo or Sagittarius doesn't have to be okay five of wands reverse some kind of agreement okay this is still not a very positive card so remain vigilant usually this indicates a truce or a rectification of earlier squabbles but beware of political maneuvering and bruised egos looking for future opportunities to find vengeance okay but at the same time here this is some kind of truce or like rectification some kind of like but i still feel like it's agreeing to disagree on some kind of new beginning here that's what i'm feeling intuitively okay with the page of wands reverse unhappy news suddenly arguments unruly children mild danger if regarding any of the employment listed above problems with pregnancy or small children rebel or minor rebellion also impotence okay i feel like this is you disagreeing with someone who started some kind of new beginning either with someone else or with something okay ace of pentacles reversed Delays in getting paid, missed opportunities, not getting the big raise, being written out of the inheritance, warning not to speculate or gamble, time to conserve your money, okay? This could be you, Sagittarius, it could be someone else, okay? Let me clarify, let me pull a clarifying card for Sagittarius in the past, please. Okay. Wheel of Fortune in the reversal. Why is everything in the reversal right now? Reverse, reverse. <laughs> The magician reverse, my god. Okay. So two major arcanas, clarifying minor arcana. Will of Fortune reverse. Where did it at? Okay. It says, time to limit your exposure, take nothing for granted, plan carefully, save your pennies and get new friends. This indicates challenges and opportunities coming from work and sacrifice. And then the magician reverse. Unskilled labor, indecis indecisive person or action, weak will, sacrifice without reward, cowardly behavior, when reversed, this card indicates an untrained or incompletely trained expert or false prophet, if you will. Bad advice from a fool, not the fool. It is sacrilege and anathema to the wisdom and knowledge that come from careful and patient study and practice. It unearths shoddy workmanship and even scandal brought about by laziness pressed into authority. This is a very disturbing card reversed as it shows not just merely a lack of potential or effort. It denotes a willful disregard for the values of patient and persistent training of a needed skill. Sagittarius, this could be, this could be you or it could be someone that you're dealing with. I feel like, okay, personally, I kind of feel like this is someone that you're dealing with, okay? I feel like it's not the person that you're thinking about, though, okay? I feel like this is someone that is near your age, okay? Someone that is close to you, okay? I feel like you, either you and this person or you or this person is looking at someone younger as a bad influence or a bad person. But the, the, the biggest thing here, Sagittarius, and I always try to make this known, okay? Look inward. Always look inward, okay? Don't ever, fo I mean, that's like, I know it's very hard to do, okay? It's, it's even very hard for me to do sometimes. However, do not focus so much on what other people around you are doing. Focus on what you can control, which is yourself, okay? Other people will always look at you and say, oh, you're wrong for doing this. You're bad for doing this. Okay, but are these people you? No, these people are not you. These people don't understand why you're doing what you're doing, number one. And the reason that you're doing it is because it doesn't matter how much you focus on that person over there. You're never going to be that person, okay? You can't go over there, hop up into their body and change them, okay? You can focus on yourself. You can focus on yourself, okay, and what you can do to better yourself, okay? If we are competing with other people, we're doing something wrong. The reason that is is because 
whenever that person, if for any reason we're competing with that person and then either one, that person moves to a different continent, then what are we going to do? If we are always competing with ourselves, the only thing we can do is get better as a person. Okay. So exercise, eat healthier, try to learn something new. Okay. Try to help other people. That's what I always try to do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to make the reading about me. I know this is about you. This is a, a Sagittarius reading. This is not about me, but this is what you can do. Okay. This is what you can do. Focus on what you can do. Okay. Um, also, if there's obstacles right now, the reason that there are obstacles is because spirit is testing you. There's supposed to be obstacles in your spiritual journey. Okay. There's supposed to be obstacles throughout your spiritual journey. The reason for that is to, that's what the magician card is in the upright. Okay. And the upright, it represents obstacles that are placed in your path after you start your spiritual journey. If you haven't been getting any obstacles before now, it's because you're not on the path of your spiritual journey. Okay. And now some kind of obstacle is being placed in your way to get you on path. Okay. And your path is significant. That is a whole reason why we're here. I just want to throw that out there for someone. Okay. Three of Swords Reverse. Swift, healthy recovery after surgery. This is in the present. Three of Swords Reverse. Okay. What was it we were just talking about? Oh, yeah. It was on the split. Three of Swords Reverse. Swift, healthy recovery after surgery. Rectifications of injuries sustained. Emotional healing after brutal heartache. Restitutions offered under command of authority figure. It was the Four of Cups and something else. The Ten of... No, that's what this is. Ten of Wands. Four of Cups and... Damn, I can't remember what it was now. Okay. Ten of Swords Reverse. That's what it was. Okay. You had the Ten of Swords Reverse and the Four of Cups at the beginning of the reading. Okay. Ten of Swords Reverse represents dodging the bullet. Okay. This is a wake-up call. Sagittarius, this is a wake-up call for you from spirit. Spirit is, is sending something down in order to wake you up, okay? And be like, hey, you're not on path, okay? You're now being guided to get on path because it is time. Your time here is nowhere near close to being done. You have a lot of stuff that you still have to do here, okay? There's a lot of people that you have to help, need to help, and this is what you signed up for whenever you started your spiritual journey. Every single one of us, this is what we all started every single one of us when we started our spiritual journey this is what we signed up for it is not about me anymore it's about whatever spirit and god wants me to do now okay what is it that god wants me to do then you have to start moving towards that if you ignore the call and ignore the call and ignore the call that's fine up until a point and then that point will come and, and spirit will say okay now it's time and then something will be sent down in order to get you on path okay whatever it is that you are going through you're going to heal from it, okay? And it will be quick. The only reason that it's happening in the first place is to open your eyes, to, to show you that it is time to wake up, and, and, and to show you that it is time for you to start moving in the direction of the call, whatever the call is for you. Everybody's path is different here, but once we put our time, energy, and effort into spirit and say, hey, spirit, I want you to guide me, then that's what spirit does. Okay, and they and whenever it's your time to listen to the call, then you'll know something will happen. Okay, for myself, I went through a major tower moment. I was homeless. I like was living in a tent. Okay, like so, that's that's not like extreme necessarily. I mean, for the most part, it is, but it's not as extreme as what some people have to go through in order to listen to the call. But it is for you know. Everything, every call is different, okay? So whenever you are being guided to listen to the call, it means that it's time, okay? And if you ignore it, then things will get worse. So don't ignore the call. Listen to the call, whatever it is, okay? For a lot of us out here, we are meant to bring other people into relating to spirit, okay? We're supposed to be some kind of person that has our own testimony, our own things that we have lived through here on this earth and be like, hey, not only can I relate to you, but I understand how you feel as well, okay? We don't just relate. We understand how the other person feels, so we are being guided in that sense to bring other people, okay? Bring them, and so that way we can all be here and together in this, okay? Because we are all together in this, whether we like it or not, okay? So, 
Let's clarify Three of Swords. I want to read it again. Swift, healthy recovery after surgery. Rectifications of injuries sustained. Emotional healing after brutal heartache. Restitutions offered under command of authority figures. Okay. Let's clarify Three of Swords reverse for Sagittarius and the present. Okay. Page of Swords. Five of Swords and... Nine of Swords reverse. Okay, this is some. Oh my God. All right, there is heavy air here, which is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, you have someone that is holding you back. Okay, just point blank period. I I don't know why I feel the need to just let you know. Okay, but I'm telling you, you have someone in your energy could very well. We have every single card clarifying this Three of Swords, which is an air card. <laughs> swords represent air, which is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. You have three, three air cards clarifying an air card. I mean, it could not be more plain to me. <laughs> you have somebody that's holding you back, okay? It's showing me that you are going to release your, I don't know. Okay, let me just put it this way. Page of Swords is someone that is either younger than you or has a younger mentality than you do. They are not on the same level as you mentally. Swords represent the mental, okay? That it represents air and it represents the mental, okay? This person is a bully or some kind of way in some kind of way over the years either has put you down or does put you down causing you to have limited beliefs or li or a limited belief system okay the only way you're going to be able to move forward is if you stop listening to this energy you know i don't care if you move on from it or just i don't care if you move on from it or not stop listening to their limiting limiting beliefs okay because it is causing you to have limiting beliefs and if you want to move forward, if you want to have this healthy recovery because you are going to get it, all right, Spirit is saying, hey, your call is now. It is time for you to listen to the call. And this person's holding you back, okay? Whoever this person is, this Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Page of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Nine of Swords reversed, okay? Like, hey, y'all just saw me shuffle, okay? I shuffle every single time in between. This reading is meant for someone out here. The Five of Swords is someone that's a bully, um, open intimidation by a bully, physical, mental, or verbal assault by someone who carries the need within themselves to dominate others in order to gain self-worth. Okay. This intimidation may be due to actual skill or it may be empty words and posturing. What matters is the effect it has. Okay. Verify the actuality of the threat by opening up the card and comparing this to expecting cards. Note the high winds blowing on the bully that do not, do not affect any of his victims. The rage that blows the clouds across the sky feeds his ego, but does nothing to soothe or invigor those who have given up their hope. You see? You see? <laughs> this card can also show weakness among the masses, fear of a dictator or strong leader. It may be someone who, like, is leading or someone that's in a authority figure in your life, okay? Someone that you look up to in some kind of way. Either way, like, it doesn't matter, okay? If the person is putting the limiting beliefs in your head, you need to remove your energy from it or at least stop listening, okay? With the thing with frequencies is if you are up here and this person is down here, whenever you get around this person, it doesn't bring their frequency up to yours. It brings yours down to their level, okay? 23, 23 on the clock. Look up angel number 23, 23 because I'm going to write it down so that way I don't forget. Okay? So you need... There is something in someone's energy here, okay, who is causing, it's causing you to have limiting beliefs. I feel like normally you're a positive person, okay, with a positive aspect on life and a positive outlook on life, and you like to help other people. This person being around you is causing you to bring your frequency down, okay? I want to read the page of swords really quick so that way you can see what kind of person we're dealing with as representative of a person this card indicates a young boy or girl or a student either of the qualities of the suit or swords suit of swords rash loud defensive angry potentially violent or the element of air intelligent studious hyperactive razor wit okay one of these two and it's pretty like it's going to be either or i mean it's, it's pretty obvious here uh, with the five of swords to someone that's like a bully or like someone that has been bullying you over the years or someone that talks down on you in some kind of way or has limiting limiting beliefs it's i mean i'm getting the rash loud defensive angry potentially violent type of person okay it's not someone that is good for your energy this card indicates a message expect 
the wording to be sharp and pointed like unpleasant news or something delivered with disdain. When this card indicates a situation or a state of being, it reflects the act of taking the moral high ground, vehemently arguing a point, speaking from a platform, teaching, lecturing, or preaching. It does not indicate a war of words, but rather a spirited exchange unless negatively aspected, okay? You could possibly have kids with this person with the Page of Swords. Doesn't have to be. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, okay? Nine of Swords, reversed. This is you emotionally letting go. Emotional release, letting go of old pain and moving on. A release of tension that you can physically feel. You have endured great stresses and now the causes of those are being lifted. It's time to forget the past and create new, better memories, okay? That's the thing, all right? If you are being guided to a call from spirit, if spirit is saying, hey, you need to listen to this call, okay? This person you're dealing with doesn't have to be a Gemini or Libra or Aquarius for some of you out here. For most of you out here, it is a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, okay? But this is what happens, okay? This is why it's very important to take this seriously, Sagittarius. The reason that it's very important to take this seriously is because spirit has more than one person. That he's like, okay, if this person doesn't listen to the call, I'm going to get that person to do it, okay? And then that's when it's serious, okay? Like, they're, you're being guided at this moment in your life to, hey, it's time to listen to this call, okay? What is the call? It's going to be a little confusing at first, maybe, but it'll be very point blank. You'll get sign after sign after sign of what the call is for you to be guided towards. And it's something to do usually to help other people or to bring other people to spirit, Okay? Usually it's both, okay? The reason for that, that is serious right now, and the reason that I would take this seriously is because you're healing over something, okay, in the present. Spirit put something on your on your person here, okay, in order for you to have to go through this healing phase, in order for you to reconnect the spirit, okay? After you reconnect the spirit, some signs will be showed to you in front of your face, okay? Like they'll be, okay, spirit's like, okay, you know, and I know, now we all know, that you got this connection with me, okay? <laughs> now, I'm going to put signs in front of your face in order for you to listen to this call, okay? You have someone in your energy that is holding you back. Someone that is letting, it's like they got you under their thumb, okay? Like this rock. They got you under their thumb like this rock, okay? Like, all right, don't go nowhere, all right? And you, it's, that is not part of your journey, okay? The reason for it is because this person has limiting beliefs. They don't, be, they don't believe what they say, okay? If you have faith and spirit, have the faith. Don't just like say that you have faith, have it. <laughs> so there will be signs that is in front of you in order to figure out what this call is, number one. Number two, if you don't listen to the call, spirit's gonna be like, okay, well, I guided you. I, you know, I, I let you know this. I let you rededicate your faith to me and then you did it and you didn't listen. So now I'm going to get this person to do it. Someone over here. So that's why it's very vital at this time to listen to whatever this call is. Okay. Because it's something that you're, you're very, very keenly being guided to do at this time. Okay. In the future, we have the Queen of Pentacles reverse to look forward to, which is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Someone that is like emotion, uh, myth, uh, What's it called for the M? Um, materialistically unstable. Someone that really cares about material, material wealth and material finances. Excuse me, guys. It does represent a woman, but it doesn't have to be a woman. It could very well be a man. As character traits, selfish woman, impatient and demanding, elitist, scornful of others, especially those she considers inferiors, shamelessly materialistic, evil boss, gold digger, Alternately, as an effect or an event, a loss of social or financial status, falling from grace, feminine health issues, abandonment by husband, loss of stability, having your world turned upside down, okay? So, this is like very clear. This is not going to resonate with everyone, okay? This is a very clear message. This is what's going to happen in the future if you don't listen to the call now. At some point, something like this is going to happen. Your whole world is going to be turned upside down. And it's like, this is what spirit does. This is the way it is. Like, you either listen whenever the call is there, or something happens to where your whole world is going to be turned upside down. And then you listen, or if you still continue not to, then they're like, okay, I'm done. I'm not and I'm not going to keep trying with you and they're going to move on to someone else who will listen to the call. That is very significant and it's not fun, guys. I had 
I was living in the woods in a tent, okay, with my dog. It's not fun to go through that, okay? I can speak from firsthand experience. It's not fun to have your world turned upside down. Listen to the call. Even if other people, if everybody in the whole world thinks that you're crazy, okay? It doesn't matter what other people think. Focus on what you can focus on. Like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, which is yourself, okay? Focus on you and focus on your call. It doesn't matter what everybody else thinks. They're not spirit, okay? <laughs> and what, I don't know. They're not spirit. So listen to the call. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles reverse for Sagittarius in the future. I feel like, personally, I feel like this is how someone in your energy is going to feel once you do listen to the call because it's showing me an emotional release, some kind of release of something that has been holding you back, okay? I feel like you're listen whoever this is is going to listen to this message. They're going to get it clearly. And then someone else is going to be feeling like their whole world's going like turned upside down. Well, I mean, the thing is, they need to have the connection with spirit too. So unless you do something, they're probably never going to get there. I mean, I don't know what else to tell them, you know. Somebody's got to listen, okay? <laughs> Somebody's got to listen. This is not going to be fun. This is somebody that you're probably in love with or have a love connection with. That's why it's going to be hard, okay? Because once once you lose that, like, it's like a... It's like a security, you know? It's like a secure being... It's like someone that you find at home with it could be you or the other person or both okay four of pen four of wands somebody that you have a family with somebody that you really have built some kind of foundation on with okay this might be what it is that you have to lose or that you will lose if you don't listen to the call now so it's important to it doesn't matter if you lose the person now that's not the thing it's important to focus on what you need to focus on that's what's important so that way you don't lose the person okay because if you don't now Clarify Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords reversed, King of Swords reversed, and Two of Swords reversed. Like, this is so clear. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards that are sword cards. This is all mental. Everything that is holding you back right now is all mental. It's all things that someone or you are telling yourself that you cannot do, okay? This is going to cause it like an uproar with someone, okay? Ace of Swords is represented as the real death card, so so something being put to death, something being put to rest and moving on, okay? King of Swords is either a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or someone with this King of Swords attitude reversed, okay? Two of Swords is making a decision, okay? So this is you making a decision about this in the future and saying, hey, like this is, it's like, it, okay, you have to understand, this is not like something that you just wake up one day and you're like, you know what? This is what I decided to do today. No, this is spirit being like, hey, you have to do this, okay? And if you don't, I'm going to, root like do everything <laughs> do everything within my power which is spirit's power okay which is just raw power they know how to do anything they can to turn your world upside down until you listen okay and then if you still don't listen then they're like okay well i'm done and good luck figuring it out and then they move on to the next person that will listen that's the way spirit is 3303 on the clock i'm gonna write that one down i'm gonna write that down. ah 30 i'm gonna write that one down too 3303 Okay, Ace of Swords. You're definitely, de somebody out here watching this is dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Possibly an earth sign with the, I mean, and, it, and it's the Queen of Pentacles reversed, clarified by Ace of Swords reversed, King of Swords reversed, and the Two of Swords reversed. So this is, this is making a decision. It's like, it represents in the book two hands coming out to grasp each other, two people like agreeing to let something happen, okay? But it's, God, I hope it's not what I think it is. Okay. Ace of Swords Reverse, among professional readers, this is quietly referred to as the real death card. This indicates sharp, sudden violence and defeat, usually accompanied by vehement rage. Before you accept this, be sure to verify all and expecting cards. So this is how someone is going to feel. It's either going to be this King of Swords or this Queen of Pentacles or it's one person with both of these inside, okay, on how they feel. Someone that is very materialistic. The King of Swords is, I'll read the Two of Swords Reverse first, okay? Settlements are reached and action can proceed. The creatively dead come back to life as fresh new ideas come suddenly and in force. Breakthroughs and research, critical problem solving, ancient secrets are revealed. So you figure like you are, this is you, Sagittarius, taking a step in the right direction. This is you saying, okay, spirit, I heard the call. Thank you. Now I'm, I'm ready to proceed. I'm ready to move forward, okay? 
and someone is very very upset about this okay it says a patient man with a cruel calculating mind criminal mastermind or ringleader iron-fisted tyrant dictator somebody that rules somebody that's like over here being patient trying to figure out how to i don't know get you back or do i don't know something like this let me let me clarify these cards for Sagittarius in the future please somebody that's like just waiting on you to mess up or come back to them or something I don't know what else okay I pulled two some kind of deception has been revealed and somebody feeling stuck and doesn't want to walk away oh my goodness okay somebody is confusing you they're like keeping you stuck okay they are keeping you stuck in something or want to I don't know I think what it is, is that you are moving on. Okay, that's what I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping that you decide to move on and it keeps, and it stops someone from keeping you stuck. But what the goal is here for whoever this King of Swords, Ace of Swords, and Two of Swords reverse is, is someone that wants to keep you stuck. They want to keep you around. It's okay if you're around them, just listen to the call. <laughs> okay, like that's what I'm saying. This is very significant, okay? It says, mostly negative, really, confusion, deception, hidden enemies, lies, illusions, alcoholism, drug use, addiction of any kind, hysteria, indigestion and or heartburn, rumors, watch your back at work or in close-knit social circles. As someone you know talking behind your back, it is, especially it is especially important to verify this through respecting cards before you start making accusations. Also, mysteries, paranoia, un unfounded accusations, and denial. Okay, the less overly negative associations is menstruation, psychic powers, detective work, occult powers, secret organizations, seafood, yes really, especially shellfish, issues associated with the breast or stomach, maternity, look for verification of pregnancy or pregnancy, issues and related cards and or inspecting and clarifying cards. This card can also pretend romance if it is positively aspected by a positive cups card and possibly coins as well. Also poetry creative inspiration, romantic locations and activities. This is another card of the subconscious mind where the sun is the conscious, okay? And then the eight of cups. This is someone really wanting to keep you stuck, okay? I mean, look guys, I have a great connection with spirit. I pray every single day, I meditate every single day, okay? And if I don't, I feel my frequency coming down, okay? So you can choose to take this information or leave it. It doesn't matter to me. The information is here. You saw me shuffle the cards and it is there okay so you I, i'm not going to tell you what to do but you know you know okay i'm telling you that you know and if you're if you know that there is a call that is being like if you know the spirit is saying hey there's a call i'm putting this down here you need to listen to it and you're not doing it then i don't know what else to tell you okay the cards are here all right it says inability to leave a bad situation imprisonment or a situational mess that needs to be resolved or cleaned up before you can make progress towards your goals okay it's showing me that someone's still trying to confuse you but it looks like you are trying to move towards your goals or at least trying to persist you're just going to have to clean something up first okay there's something that's going to have to be some kind of confusion has got to be worked out all right this is not, this is definitely the time to pray okay and spend your time in prayer and trying to seek a connection like a deep connection with spirit so that way spirit can guide you and figure out what you need to do here okay one more clarifying card three of wands thank god okay <laughs> this is some kind of new venture okay something new that you are doing it's you putting your putting something out into the universe okay and waiting on the return profits of it whatever it is okay thank god okay i know this is easy i mean <laughs> I know this is easy, this is extremely easy life that we're all living. I know this is hard, okay, but this is something that you have, like you're very, very strongly being guided to do, okay. This is an extremely fortunate card to draw, although it can be frustrating because as you look closely at the boats in the bay, they are selling away, indicating the, success, the successful launch of a venture rather than the return profits of one. This card tells us that things go well, keep going. This card often appears when we are frustrated by lack of obvious results and we need encouragement to persist. Other forces are at work and we must also apply our efforts intelligently while we are waiting for our results. So this is like whenever you start something new and you're like, okay, I can't wait to get paid. And you're like, and it's like taking a long time. So then you start to get frustrated. Okay. This is something that we all go through. This happens to everyone. All right. At one point in time or another, almost, almost definitely this happens to everyone. Okay. So this is what spirit is saying like just be patient trust me as long as you have started on the right path towards listening to the call you're gonna be okay 
It doesn't matter. You know, you may not have every single thing that you want right away. Okay. But 39, 39 on the clock. Okay. Something about 39, 39 too. Jesus. Keep seeing synchronicities. 39, 39. Okay. But it's, you may not have everything that you want right away, but your needs will be met. Okay. We also have the moon cycle moon card okay synchronicity something about the moon cycle what i would do is set your intentions with the new moon which should be coming i don't know like in like a couple of days i don't know set your intentions with the new moon go out to the new moon and speak to spirit and say spirit this is what i would like to happen okay speak it out into existence that way by the time the full moon comes around again your intentions will be like starting to manifest you will start manifesting your intentions by the time the new moon comes back around we have no bueno something not good going on right now or someone not good in your energy or something about no bueno okay what else big bubba mac spirit guides god angels ancestors archangel michael show me the cards that i need to see for sagittarius today we have light okay something about the light is significant okay you could be like i said <laughs> you could be of the light you could be like someone out here that is meant to bring people to the light in a sense you know what i'm saying bring people like light up the darkness let people understand something this is what you're being called to do okay what else one two three four sadness somebody could be sad about something or you could be sad about something all right or upset about something something about sadness is significant here what else one two three four we have crown chakra something about your crown chakra is significant okay crown chakra aries rules the crown chakra okay this is crown chakra spray this is something i would use ask me about it okay <laughs> what else one two three four we have guitar interest i don't know somebody could play guitar out here all right or you maybe you want to be a guitarist i don't know something about a guitar is significant maybe someone plays guitar or somebody needs to get a guitar i don't know something like that is significant we have pay attention okay every time i get a pay attention card i pull three cards from the back present something about the present is significant like i said this is the call okay this is like this is so clear to me some kind of present situation is significant somebody maybe wants to give you a present or something about a present is significant here what else we have interest okay you could be interested in someone or someone is interested in you or you like have to pay some kind of interest or something like that okay interest paid it's kind of like time to the hardest part about having a spiritual connection and, and this literally is my opinion and this is not something that everybody's going to agree with whenever you set that in motion at no matter what point it is in your life you will have to listen to the call like it it doesn't matter what other people think about you how other people look at you or or if people think that you're doing something crazy okay it just doesn't matter anymore whenever the call is there you either have to listen to it or something turns your life all the way upside down i've been getting this same call for two years before i started this journey okay before I started Tarot, I got this call two years ago. I had plenty of time, okay? I had pl I can't blame anybody except myself, okay? Because God was like, this is what I want you to do. And I was sitting there thinking like, God, like that's against normal religion. And God was like, I don't care. He was like, you can either do it or I'm going to turn your life upside down. I lost the person that I loved, okay? I lost my... <sighs> I lost my house. I lost like the only thing that I still have from that situation that I still really care about is my truck and my dog. Okay. And even most of my clothes, I don't even really have. They're all in storage. Okay. So I can't wear my clothes. So this is something that is like, you either have to listen now. That's why the present and the interest It's time to pay. Okay. It's time to put in motion what you said to God, whenever you were like, I want to give my life to you. Whenever you said that to God, it's time. Okay. Like, I mean, there's no other if, ands or buts about it. You're either going to do it or your whole life will be turned upside down. That's why it's scary. That's what really, and that is my personal opinion. Okay. That's how I feel. I'm like, man, that kind of sucks. It really does. Okay. But that's why you have me here now to tell you, <laughs> that's why you have me here now to, to give you this information because I finally listened to this, to the call. Okay. We have Scorpio, okay? You could have Scorpio somewhere in your chart or the person that you're dealing with does or something about a Scorpio is significant here, okay? Four more, one, two, three, four. We have sun. Something about someone's sun is significant. You could be a sun or you have a sun or something about sun is significant here, okay? Call or calling, like seriously, I mean, I could not be, this is very specific. This, this message will not be for everyone out here today, but it is for someone, okay? Call or calling, it's time to listen to the call. 
spirits i mean <laughs> what else mask someone is wearing a mask in your energy they act one way in front of your face and behind your back they act a different way okay something about a mask is significant what else we have discussed. Someone is either disgusted with you or you are disgusted with someone or something about disgust is significant here, okay? All right, let's get a message from the Ancestor Oracle card and see what your ancestors have to say about this situation today. Ancestors, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. This is the one that popped out, so I guess we're taking this one. We have Innocent and Purity, okay? Innocent impurity. All right, this archetypal ancestor exemplifies a purity of spirit uncontaminated by worldly ills and woes. Driven by amiable curiosity and godlessness, the innocent is childlike in their quest to experience the world in all of its wonder and beauty. They focus on what's immediately before them, wide-eyed and willing to taste, touch, and feel the flow of whatever life presents. This also implies a vulnerability, one that has its risks to which they are typically oblivious. Yet, I feel the energy of someone here right now, and it's like really strong, guys, so you're going to have to just bear with me for a second because someone's feeling very emotional. All right, they focus on what's immediately before them, wide-eyed and willing to taste, touch, and feel the flow of whatever life presents. This also implies a vulnerability. Jesus. This also implies a vulnerability, one that has its risks to which they are typically oblivious yet instinctively reminded of whenever the sharp thorns of the rosebush of the rosebush are grazed even in the experiences of, a, of confronting the darker shadows of the world the innocent is able to quickly recover and allow the return to a view of wonder and awe unscathed by temporary suffering an infant carries this purity to a great degree yet as they become enveloped and buffeted by the forces of this world, they develop adaptations that will serve their ability to survive, forcing necessary compromises to this purity. Jesus. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Someone is feeling very emotional now. I can feel it. Okay. Forcing necessary compromises to this purity in the process when life has been fully lived on into maturity. The wisdom that is gained can be a gateway for the return to innocence. That is what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. 47, 47 on the clock. I keep seeing like angel numbers, angel numbers, angel numbers. 47, 47. Okay. Approach a troubling situation with the fearlessness, openness, and vulnerability that are hallmarks of innocence, accompanied by the hard-earned wisdom resulting from simply living your life. Coming through periods of suffering and loss that are an inherent that are an inherent part of life, you've learned your lessons and found your way into a profound appreciation of a greater depth and meaning as to what life is all about. You have come full circle and now you have available to you both of these qualities operating in a synergistic balance available to be called upon as needed. Cast off the shroud of fear, open your heart, speak your truth, and allow wisdom to be the inner elder that sits at the same table as the innocence. As you heed the messages you receive from both, you'll find that you're able to navigate through life with much greater ease. Okay? And that is the card for today, Sagittarius. I hope this message resonated with someone out here today, guys. If it did, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a message, or leave a comment in the comment. <laughs> leave a comment in the comment section, all right? If you guys would like to get a subscription from succulent studios you can use my referral code in the description box below and you can get five dollars off your first order okay also if you plan on donating plasma at biolife 
that helps save lives and you also get paid for it you can use my referral code in the description box below it'll give you extra money and it'll give me extra money as well also if you plan on shopping at timu use my referral code in the description box below and that will give you a discount and it will give me a discount if you guys would like to follow me on social media i am five months sober today from alcohol uh, i created a challenge on tiktok called stay sober and challenge so feel free to follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you guys would like to reach out to me for a personal reading or donate to the channel, you can find that in the description box below as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for the new likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. It really does help out the channel. Okay, thank you guys. 5005 on the clock. Okay, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and as always, guys, love yourself first.